Well, with the uncertainty in the economy and the stock market, many people are concerned about their retirement accounts. Here's Fox Toledo's Christy Lee with some advice in today's Market Minute. We received some follow-up questions to last week's topic. That's when I said it would be a good idea to roll over the money in your 401k to an individual retirement account if your company allows it. Some were wondering if they could then convert that to a Roth IRA and what the advantages would be to taking that action. Well, first, let me take you through the process. If you're able to transfer the money in your 401k over to an IRA, it's automatically considered a rollover IRA. That just essentially means you never paid any taxes on that money. Now, you can then convert that to a Roth IRA. You'll just have to pay the tax on the amount of money the year you make the conversion or wait till 2010 and spread it out over two years. You see, the IRS has granted you the option to claim half of the conversion amount as income in 2011 and the remaining half in 2012. Okay, you're thinking, well then why would I wanna do that? Well, you see, the main advantage to a Roth IRA is that when you end up taking the money out at retirement, you won't get taxed on it or the amount that's been earned. Main stipulation, your money will have to be tied up in the Roth for at least five years. And here's why that's important to know. Because the best candidate for a Roth is someone who is close to retirement, especially a person who's anticipating large distributions because they won't be slammed with a huge tax responsibility. And here's something to ponder. Do you think taxes will go up in the future or down? Might be better to pay now. Now, I'd recommend younger folks to use a traditional IRA. The advantage to the traditional is that you're able to take tax deductions on your contributions. When you're younger, perhaps with young children, and trying to build your wealth, you'll want all the tax deductions you can get. So if you make 50 grand a year and contribute 4,000, that's that much less you'll be taxed on. And the more deductions you can take, it could even lower your tax bracket, or the percentage you're taxed at. Now, if you'd like to see my other investment advice, you can always check out the archive on our Market Minute webpage. That's also where you can post your questions. Just head over to foxtoledo.com and scroll down to find it. For your dollars and cents Market Minute, I'm Christy Lee. Remember, always check with your personal financial advisor before making any financial decisions.